a stunning landscape located in the south of Jordan. One of the world's most colorful and unique landscapes of desert and mountain. Known as the Valley of the Moon, it was once described by Lawrence of Arabia as a vast, echoing, and godlike place. This is Wadi Rum. It's a big break and a cathartic experience from the city life. So what brought you to Wadi Rum in the first place? Something about the desert really just sucked me in. Living in Wadiram is like living in a painting, a piece of art. Don't you feel lonely sometimes, all by yourself? Here, your phone is um, off and you now there's like, you come with the purpose of being cut off. First thing we did, we uh, give her uh, Arabic name, Nora. All the Bedouins have been amazingly hospitable. <laughs> and they they treat me like, you know, almost like family member. Okay. You can imagine um, coming from New York City and not having running water, no electricity. Don't you encounter scary things? wild animals. Scorpions and snakes. Mm -hmm. um, I've seen them. How do you charge your electronics without any electricity around? And where do you get food from? How do you shower here? Do you have the basic facilities? You can have a pretty normal life. I mean, one thing I really miss is a hot shower. So did you find a Bedouin boyfriend? 